All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. How you doing? I'm doing great. We're here to meet the uh, informant we had, so let's just uh, charge on in and say hello. We're closed right now. Oh, damn it. Oh, and I immediately get a wrench. Okay. We got, like, what? Two, three minutes. Let's open the stash now. Or not. Okay, um. This is better than our current assault rifle. No, current pistol. Let's. Transfer that over. That too. That. And that. I'll get it out to sell at one point. Look at this, man. Didn't take trash and just scrap it. I love it. Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Been a while. I didn't get in through the front. Ha! Huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. If someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. All right. That's fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. Thanks, Max. You have nothing back to do. What a sweet little face you have. Sit at the bar and ask about Evelyn. Okay. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. It's not too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Those were paid right, insured, and had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Till good old days. Let me guess, it didn't last. No, Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Sounds good. Looking for Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. Wait. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on. Only tequila I drink. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Okay. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. 
Anyone asks, we're not here. Interesting well, little introduction she gave us. Nothing wrong. Girl like really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I Lilla just told Lilla. you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Hmm. Let's see. Don't know him well, haven't been working long. V? I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew at my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Which is? Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Familiar? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. Two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Empress prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like you Nobu's been to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Netwatch, something doesn't add up. So, what's 
he's slated to get in return. So what's your Anobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Nope, don't buy it. Netwatch's integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. All right, where does he keep it? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Actually, I got a couple more things. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. That's so. Uh, maybe he's just got a taste for power. Pretty mitwisky move with the biochip. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick. Like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything. Yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. That's and what so. you plan to exploit fully. Whose shadow you in? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. All right, what's okay. next? What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling How virtual much? tits. No, no. Like Jacking off two in those boxes. Damn the break. No. It can be a very useful oh, tool. You? Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's All on right. the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No. But it tells me you know him personally. It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. Mm. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh... Years. Look, that's how V, it this no, is important. Judy's always been there for me. No. Always no. helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hey, there you are. 
this is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make <laughs> Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, oh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. <laughs> I'll do BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. All right. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside, let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? I think I can take think it. I think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Sounds good. Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. You need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Thank you, no. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Uh, calibrating Am I gonna time? have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Sure, let's do it. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. As you get your bearings, then we'll jump into editing. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. On you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. What I see you kissing the flooring, money. Now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, uh, hey. Uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off.
Well, okay, holy shit! A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I, I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could warn me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. All right, let's see. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you okay. use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Yeah, I, I, wait, back to the top, she said. All right. Back to the beginning. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You don't need to get up. Got it, got it. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Okay, and that's hold to restart. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Okay. Do nothing odd. The creep. You don't need to get yeah. Breaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, every thing on full blast. That's why I guess I'm really friendly. Okay, on your coat. Here it okay, comes. Right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Sound source, what is that? A uh, cool okay, unit? On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock, I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Suck a so, bag of dicks. Any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. What's this? Don't restock. I'll take the Joseph register. And a How about you suck a bag of dicks? Okay. Man. We have a deal today on true flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! Huh? Uh, switch to Sometimes visual. you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Okay. Look out! What I see you kissing the floor, buddy! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, where I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Look, you hit the gun! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Alright. Back up we go. His 
own chumbash on him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. Oh, probably. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Oh shit, you can see him right there too. That's gotta be intense. Would not like to experience somebody else dying in my own body. It's weird. <laughs> not something I want. <laughs> I can see Thrill Seekers want it though. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. <laughs> anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Sweet. Thanks for the trust. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Sweet. You've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Let's do it. Back in we go. Alright, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yorinobu's keeping the relic. Holy you shit! You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no! They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for good. You know, sure I push you. Right. We need... ...to scan... This one. What's this? Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Can't detect him. Have we rewind it a bit? Oh, what's this? Military grade hardware, said we're detected. 96% modifications, Jesus. And what's this? Alarm, Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Okay. I said, 
Nope. There's something above him. More motion sensor cameras. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visualless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of mm. a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide right. them. In a Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Alright. Hey, let's go back to hear about this first audio part. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken okay. a particular interest in this project. Adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Inside some fossilized vision of work and all it is. So she's here. We can scan along sure. the table. We want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not write them. Enough. Can't go back this Sorry way. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Mm. Let's mm. back up a little bit. <laughs> It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. She went this we way. Might be something over here. Vision of ship, the Alice of Messenger. From Marfum, we read it up. This thing over here. No. Live forever. Who thinks okay. nothing will change? And he'll Let's live fast forward a bit. One condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. Hello. Motion sensor. Automated turret, Jesus. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. System is all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Okay. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Oh, got it. Hmm. 
anything else. Candy left. Steph was pretty violent. Bedroom. Nice. Wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. I got an idea. Be right back. So we must have missed something back here. It's in her field of vision at one point. Unless it's just that. And that. Last time. Bedroom. Nice. Okay, Lydia. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. Is that a gun? Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Well, let's see. I'll like this. Alright. What well, Hello. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chips gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Got it. Air conditioner? Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. Understood. I want to see what we missed up here. Alright, I guess nothing really. What's this? Champagne ice bucket? Probably not. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Okay, anything else within her field vision? That might have it? No. What's the no that's a lie. Just a fancy ass fridge. Okay. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. From this way, something in this area. Hello, right? Grab the heat sig, matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm hmm, we got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. My father's a tad. Okay. So we got everything. Fully prepared for the heist almost.
Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Thanks, Judy. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. <laughs> Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Thanks again, Judy. All right, Evelyn. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? Connection to Yuri Nobu, what's the nature exactly? I'm afraid, uh. Think I see how you know so much about Yuri Nobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. Okay. You're sure Yuri Nobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? <laughs> He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? Try to. Uh, not afraid they'll tie us to the heist. Sure everything's under control? You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Okay, understood, but still. Intel on your Nobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. Wins are right, plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm, thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. That you're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. All right, so what now? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. I'd rather not get murdered. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows and actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. Right, uh... If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. 
Good luck. Thanks. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Very well. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her mat. And a flathead. No, 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 Nothing no, yet. No, no. On it now. Uh, T-Bug says it. no chance at that chip without that buy. To work then, Miss V. Yeah. Not a problem, not a problem. I guess. 4 a.m. last night, Gina and me sitting in the bar. All right, uh, which way do I uh -huh. need to go? Not that way. How's it going? What's the status? What's the client? Alright, I got you. Optional, call the military. What agent. a sweet little face you have. <laughs> okay. Uh, Meredith Stout. out here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. There are problems? Shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Transport fuck-up's toxic for you. I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self-interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Okay. Got a meeting. Who's hoping it ends well? Uh, let's, let's change the radio up a little bit. Hold on. Let's see what the corpo chick has for us. Probably something with a heavy dose of fuck you over in the meantime, but here's hoping it's worth it. God, I'll always drive terrible in games. It's not too far from where we are. Also, a good thing we decided to go in the correct direction. Oh, that's cool. It tells you what lane you're supposed to be in. Like to turn and whatnot. Right down here. Much like this. All right. Look lively, Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call. Yep. Action blocked. What? Got an offer for you. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly, forthrightly. Are you here alone? I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport, and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. 
Not another word. Do a sweep now. Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? No clue who he is. Got no ties to Militech. None. Check out. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on, all corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> Her, you can let go. I want to hear what she has to say. Couldn't have been chill from the start? Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Not the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech. Chip spiked with a virus, clearly. That is true. If something goes wrong, I'm the one they'll fill full of holes, not you. Time you were straight with me. What's on there? A tracing algorithm. Latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. All right. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Encrypted shards, some shards you'll find around contain information and hidden data. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Right. You're making a mistake! The cook's already good as dead! And she'll take you down with her! Car's right here. Optional, remove the virus from the chip. Okay, how do I do that? I saw, do I go to shards? Cause that was what she gave me. Uh, let, let's close some of these off. Articles, no. Notes. Militech data. Crack security. C B D B What? How'd I fail that? F F Oh, it's not in here. Yeah, hold on. Can I do that again? Oh wait. Shards. I think I'm able to do that again. Hold on. Right, 55. I see. BD. 50. Wait, what? Failed. How? 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 The... Right, 55. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I need to choose the one that has the next option in it, I think. Maybe. Right. So, 55, I see. And then. There we go. Property of Militech, yep. Eddie's on the cred ship are clean. Now they're not gonna try to murder us the moment we uh try to pay for it. The pickup. 
So hopefully this is swift and uh, uneventful. I doubt it, but hopefully. Oh, wait a minute. I did see I can upgrade some stuff. So let's, uh, let's, uh, Eagle Eye reduces aim and increases damage with rifles and submachine guns. Let's go meet with Jackie, he's not too far away from us. Oh, that's not a street. Love being able to do a uh, U-turn. Can, can I squeeze through? There we go. There you are. Hey, Jackie. What you got? Let me hear what you squared away. Uh, been waiting long? Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... All right, so what's the word? T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Yeah, told me. So, Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ijone. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hey, just go straight to the car. Fuckers. Had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I think the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. <laughs> Maelstrom, you just never know. Yeah, I feel it. Predictability is always best. Go on, let them know we're here. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Oh, hello. Turrets? Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a Chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Hey, what was in there? Militech truck. Oh, God, has only swiped a couple crates. Not a whole fucking semi. That's Militech, all right. Psycho Forge, cloned out with military grade hardware worth millions. Yeah, definitely. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel's better. My favorite. Subtle. Well, they just, they really want to be prepared for anybody coming through here. What's this? Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. 
Well, they're doing it. Just a little bit. I don't think I have enough ammo to kill them all. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. Okay. You got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. Alright. I don't know why you'd name yourself Dum Dum, but okay. Well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Jackie? See you Jack, down. Sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but shit. Well, alright. Come on. Got lighten up. Take a hit. I'm good. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. Flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lifted access locks using our soft. What's yours? It's yours. All right, well, let's see it. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm hmm Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Alright, we'll take it. Yep, we'll take it. Free. Sure. Yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. <laughs> Whoa. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Fuck brick then. Let's cut a new deal. Ah! Now that's good business sense. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Relax. Got him right here. Just like that! Without that in a fucking eye! <laughs> Want it or not, I got places to be. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The hard ass who punching animal fucked half of Pacifica? <laughs> Maybe he ain't dead? Alive, well, and kicking. He sends his regards. So I'm gonna consider my offer now. Here's the cred. Hell, I'll even toss in some info as a friendly bonus. Militech's on to you. They're close. Wait, what? 
Cred chip was spiked with a virus. But don't worry, I wiped it. That's what you call a smooth play. Check it. I tell you. That rusty cunt. Now I gotta deal with this shit. You just take the damn bot and get the fuck out of my factory. Sounds good to me. If this is a trick, I'm gonna introduce you to our Got meat grinder. Do. Nova, so now leave. And hey, after you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. <laughs> Piece of shit. All right, Jackie, let's go. Shit, an attack. Oh, shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. Follow me. Let's move. Militech couldn't let it tell us. Uh, combat gadgets. How do I assign grenade to, com uh, to combat gadgets? Okay. They rolled in the big guns. More their fucking style, I'd say. Yeah, I expected them to try to fuck us over at some point. For the ventilation shaft. We'll ride the production line. Flip it on. How do I turn it on? The cyberpunk, everybody. Don't be back. You like that? Playtime, soldier. All right, I'm missing my uh, I'm missing my shotgun. Um, we can do something with the body. You know who you're messing with. 
not in here. No. Go on the flank. That's, that's not a door, that's a window. Well, I think we found brick, but I can't get in there. Something's back here, though. Where's Jackie? supposed to go this way. Just a little bit. Oh, God.
Does that rifle ammo? That's a body. That was insane. Here you go. All right. You fucking believe that guy? Come on, V. Let's get out of here. Oh, je oh no. Anthony Gilchrist. Still alive. And not hogtied for a change. Have a good memory for... names. But that's nowhere near enough when Militech personnel get shot up. They drew and fired first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But... If you'd worked with Stout, I'd be dead by now. Might not have intended it, but you saved my life. Now I'm saving yours. Makes us even. All right. Gotta admit, didn't expect to see you here. You were followed, but I'm sure you know that. Stout's people were on your tail, my people were on theirs. In the end, she lost her nerve. Thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back. Hit the big red button prematurely. Classic. And you don't know what to do. Why not order an all-out assault on a food factory? Mm-hmm. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? What happened to Stout? She placed some bad bets. Her clock ran out. Simple as that. Suffice to say, you won't be seeing her again. Okay. What do you and want? you. Why are you here? Well, I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him, too. It's been a pleasure. Mm hmm definitely. Holy shit, V. I was I sure we'd walk out in one piece? Almost didn't, but we made it. Think we're done. What now? Uh, I had enough for one day, let me tell you. Let Dex know we got his toy for him. Fats will want to crack open a bottle for us after what we did for him today. Ahí luego, V. 
See ya, Jackie. Oh, this is a hostile area. Not going in. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how to go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure. Of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Miss V. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. Alright, well, we've got our next mission. And I think we'll, uh, we'll, uh, take care of that when we return in a moment. So I thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, like, comment, subscribe if you're on Twitch, uh, on YouTube. If you're on Twitch, drop me a follow if you all haven't already. And I will see you all in a moment.